to Studio 10. Welcome back. Classic movies are hitting the big screen. The Sanger Theater is kicking off its summer movie series. Mary Lee Gay is going to give us a rundown of this year's movies and more. Great to see you as always. Good to see you. So I was really excited last year you came in and we actually took the kids out. We had Mary Poppins. Yes. That was one of the classic movies and it was so much fun. Yes, it's such a fun series. It's it's fun. It's just there's a little bit of, of something for everyone and it's it, we have lots going on with the series that has really become popular and maybe on our patrons have really taken to it and I love so many of the theaters around here on the Gulf Coast there's a couple great local ones as well um, to have an experience to see the movie in a Sanger is something in and of itself it is it's a different environment than your traditional movie theater um, it's just such a beautiful surrounding and um, this year we have a, a new HD laser projector oh, so really? it's gonna be even better that's and awesome some great movies on the lineup so let's get to the lineup let's tell the folks what's gonna be taking place and when all Kick right I've got my cheat sheet here so on June 14th we're gonna do Close Encounters of the Third Kind it's got a local tie as it, you know it's absolutely. filmed in Mobile so uh, watch for the sneak peek of former chief meteorologist John Ed Thompson he appears as a scene in the movie we will and there will also be some surprise props that were oh. used in the Civic Center oh, okay. at the Sanger Very for cool. that. So um, then on July 21st, we have A Star is Born, not the recent Bradley Cooper, Lady Gaga version, but the 1976 version. That's Barbara Streisand. Barbara Streisand yep. and Chris Christopherson, who actually performed at the Sanger in the fall. So That's very cool. And that is actually a remake of the previous Star is Born. Is so a lot of folks don't know that this was kind of the third iteration of that yes. movie that just came out. So that's cool to see that that's one. Right. And then on July 28th, we have Dirty Dancing. You had mentioned Mary Poppins mm -hmm. earlier. We had a poll last year and put uh, Mary Poppins up against Dirty Dancing. Mm -hmm. And I think I remember telling you that unfortunately someone put baby in the corner yeah. but we have taken her out of the corner and she is coming back and um, she'll be we'll be showing that on the 28th of July then August 4th we have Harry Potter and the that's Sorcerer's fun. Stone that's the first in the series mm -hmm. um, we put that on August 4th because that's just before the schools go back in and the kids can have one last big fun thing to do before perfect they timing for that for all the muggles to come on out yes for that one. so and then I mentioned the poll on August 11th we do currently have a poll running on mm -hmm. our Facebook page um, people get to decide between Purple Rain or Saturday Night Fever two great films they there. are really great I will tell you there's one that has over 100 votes on the other right now. Oh, so, so one is leading. So whichever one you prefer, make sure you get on out and vote for that. Of course, Saturday Night Fever, one of the biggest selling soundtracks of all time from the Bee Gees, Purple Rain, the same with Prince. So two great musical films. Yeah, you can't lose with either one yeah. of those, but that poll is open until Monday night at midnight. Okay. Um, and then August 18th, we finish up with a true classic, Singing in the Rain. If you have not seen it, it's one that you need to see. It's, it's really just an incredible film. And to see a movie like that in the Sanger will make it feel even more timely and special and unique. So go check that out now. So that poll, if you want to get on the poll, that ends this Monday night. This you Monday, said. yep. Uh, and then you also wanted to mention real briefly this affiliation with some nonprofits. Yeah. So the past two years, we've we've picked a nonprofit organization, a local organization. We did McKimmy Place two years ago, and I'm, I'm sorry, this past summer, and Penelope House the summer before. And this year, we are accepting applications for our partner and our patrons bring in tangible items. Um, last year we did toilet paper, dish detergent, um, laundry detergent, just things that they need on a daily basis, but they also accept cash donations. It's a huge success. Mm -hmm. It's become really popular. Um, the patrons love to help out and they get a free sure. popcorn. So awesome. a little something for, for you too if you give something to help. So three calls to action. One, the nonprofit angle that we just talked about. Two, make sure you get online and vote whether you want to see Purple Rain or Saturday Night Fever. And then three, get online and order your tickets. Get ready for the Sanger Summer Classic Movie Series. Yep, that's right. Sounds good. I'm looking forward to it. I love movies. A great experience. Go check it out. Mary Lee, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you. All right, Chelsea.